Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a simple EWS delete on the MS-43 ECU. And in the recent years, it's become super easy to do this. So I'm just doing a kind of updated guide because I haven't really seen any on YouTube. And I'm just going to make this super clear cut. So first of all, all we need for this is going to be the MX Force Flasher and the Tuner Pro program. Additionally, I would recommend getting all the BMW tool applications, which are just all these applications you see here on the left. And they help you diagnose and perform various tasks for your BMW. I'll drop a link to a really good video down below in the description, so just make sure to download all those. Not necessarily needed for this process, but I highly, highly recommend. And also, additionally, we would want an input cable and a laptop to tune this in your car. I will drop links to those down in the description. Well, not the laptop, but the cable. I will drop links to the cable and these programs in the description so you can get those. But let me just walk you through the process, all right? All righty, guys, first of all, we are here on the MS4X Wiki. This is going to be basically your holy grail if you're starting to tune on these MS43 ECUs. And we're going to need a few things from here. First of all, we're going to go down here to the MX, MS4X Flasher, sorry. And then we're going to go ahead and download whatever you want, whatever you have specific to your computer. So I'm doing this on Windows 11, as you can see. A lot of people recommend doing this on Windows 7, uh, maybe Windows XP Vista, but honestly, I haven't had any trouble on Windows 11, so I think it should be pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead just right here, ms 4 Flasher Windows 64-bit, that's what I have. Go ahead, download that, put that somewhere safe while you'll remember. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead down here to the definition file. Scroll down a little bit, we're gonna find the Siemens MS-43. And these definition files right here are basically the version of your ECU. So think of it as like your video game console to where you have to update it every now and often to get bug fixes and stuff like that. So uh, with the EWS release specifically, we're gonna need this MS-43-0069 file. That's just the latest version for MS-43 and the last one ever released. We're going to go ahead and download that full file, the 512. And again, save this wherever you can find it. Now, after here, we're going to scroll down and just right below the definition files, we're going to find the firmware files. Go ahead and click that. And again, we're going to scroll a little bit down until we find the MS-43. And right here, you are just going to choose your chassis. All right. So for me, I have the E46 M54 engine with the three liter displacement. And I'm going to go ahead and choose the US. But if you had, let's say, the 2.5 liter M54, you would go ahead US there and then, you know, M54, B22, blah, 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 so on and so on. So I'm just going to go ahead and download this US version right here, click here. And for this one specifically, we won't be really needing this to uh, code out the EWS. You'll see in a second. But it's just good to have if you're delving into tuning on these MS-43 ECUs as it will be much more useful later down the line. And I can just show you a glimpse of that right here. So if we go over to tuning right here and then MS-43, for a lot of these uh, options that you can do, you will be using that firmware file that we just downloaded. So let's say you want to delete your secondary air pump. This is a very common modification. Uh, after you get rid of your headers and you go to catalyst headers, you don't need the secondary air pump to heat up your catalytic converter. So this will be an instance of when you would use that, that uh, firmware file. And for this EWS delete, made it super easy. We're gonna go down here to the Tuner Pro community patch list for MS-43. Click on that sucker right there. We are going to just go ahead, download it here, the newest version of the community patch list. This is patch list. This is gonna be your XDF right here. Click on that real quick. And then just click on this top one right here. Download this again, just like all the other stuff. And so with that, we've almost got everything. Just one more thing. We're going to download Tuner Pro. And like everything, I have listed that down below in the description. I'm just going to switch over right here. This is going to be the page you're going to want to look for. Then I'm going to go over here to the right into Downloads, Tuner Pro Applications. And you can either download the latest Tuner Pro right here, which is free, or Tuner Pro RT, which is a $39 donation. Honestly, they are one in the same. They are both almost identical. And uh, there might be a free version of Tuner Pro RT or at least a key floating around on the internet. Uh, use that information as you will, but uh, go ahead. I'm just gonna download the regular Tuner Pro and we've got everything. All right, so now we have everything downloaded to our folder. So now we're just gonna start downloading all the programs. So let me just bring this over here. Uh, first of all, let's set up our Tuner Pro. So just go ahead, double click that really quick. Um, this should be safe. So, I mean, if you get this pop-up, Tuner Pro is completely safe. It should not give you any Trojan horse virus or uh, maybe it has and I just haven't noticed, but <laughs> no, I'm kidding. 
Uh, just go ahead and run anyways. All right, just go ahead, accept everything, blah, 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 save it. Next, next, create Tuner Pro, yes, next install and just like that we have this tuner pro up here it is different from the rt version i have down here but not by a lot all right and next up we have the ms4x flasher i'm just gonna take you guys a little bit through that i already have it installed so i don't really want to do it again um let's just go ahead and do this we're just gonna literally do the same thing uh as you can see here since i already have it installed it's just telling me to change repair or remove but for you you can go ahead and click the next button get this fully installed we are almost done okay so uh next up the ms4x flasher you're going to open that. It's probably going to give you a little message saying you need to register your account or something along those lines. So what you're going to need to do is go back to your web browser, go to the MS4X wiki, scroll all the way up. You're going to go down here to MS4X activation. Click that right there. And then right here, license generator. This is all completely free, guys. Don't worry about it. Um, basically, you're just going to it's going to give you it's going to show you a little code right here that you have to basically copy copy and paste that into the here as you can see here's my old hardware id that i copied in there it's going to generate a license you're going to have a little download and uh, just save that in a place that you will remember and then after that you're going to go over here you're going to go to the settings and then sorry you don't have to click these three lines you, you literally just click down here in the settings button uh you're going to go over here load license and then you just load the file that the website spit out at you all right. And while we're in the settings, I just always have these enabled safety checks enabled, check some correction enabled. Also, just one little side note, make sure your K plus DKN cable is in COM1 like I have it right here. So easy way to do that. Just go to device manager, scroll down until you get to the right here, the ports, COM and LPT. Go down here. I have two of these, but uh, the, the one you're looking for is this one USB serial port and it is set to COM1. If it's not, go over here, go to port settings, advanced over here set it to com one all right click uh okay oh also you want to set your latency timer to one millisecond all right and uh that's that part first of all we're just going to make our tune really quick which shouldn't take long at all all right close this out really fast we're going to go into our little folder that we have. And then we're also gonna open our Tuner Pro right here. And we are only gonna be using two of the files that we downloaded. This right here is the uh, zipped 5, 12 kilobyte file. You will need this, need this for uh, tuning other specific things, but for this EWS Elite, we will only need these top two files right here. So just feel free to keep this around, uh, unzip it if you want, you know. I, in Tuner Pro, we're gonna go back right here. We're gonna go click File, Open Bin. And then as you can see right here, this top one e46 m54b30 is a dot bin so that's the one we're going to do right here for open bin click that bin file that loads that and then also we're going to need an xdf so over here that's going to be our community patch list patch list ends in xdf so again we're just going to go ahead xdf select xdf and then click the community patch list and then over here in the view by we're going to go ahead click the parameter category to make this more easy to understand let me extend this really quick for you guys all right so we're going to go right here to the immobilizer bypass very easy so the immobilizer is literally just the ews in these ms43 cars gonna go ahead expand that uh we're gonna need this top one so just go ahead literally double click that and then also the second one double click that so this first one is just simply the EWS delete. You want to go ahead, click apply patch and then apply. And it's as simple as that. Your EWS is now deleted, right? But we haven't flashed this to the car, but it's just deleted right here. And then also you want to do the second one, which is the immobilizer bypass DTC fix. So it'll throw a code, but with this uh, bypass, it will not throw a code. So you just go ahead, click apply patch right there and then apply right here. And then your EWS is deleted. Well, just in this file at least and just this last one down here clear mobilizer data is just if you want to delete your ews delete right you understand <laughs> and then also one last thing you want to do uh i think ms4x also does this but just go ahead click this checks and bypass just to be sure that your car is going to start uh, apply patch click apply and uh oh yeah guys to make sure these are applied if you just want to be extra sure just go ahead double click it again it should just say patch applied and then that's how you know it's good all right. But uh, yeah, and that's the whole EWS delete right there on the Tuner Pro side. And there's a bunch of other stuff on here that maybe if you guys want, I'll get into in later videos. Like right here, we have uh, launch control settings. And then we have your ignition cut limiter, which just makes the uh, the RPM limiter drop by way less RPMs at the top. So it bounces very fast and some other cool nifty things. But uh, if you guys have anything uh, in specific that you'd want me to cover, let me know. All right. But we're basically done here. Just go ahead, click file, 
Ooh, save bin as and then i'm just gonna name this epic ews delete you already know all right <laughs> just save it as something you'll remember what it is uh, it could be anything let's go ahead and save that right there we can go ahead and click x on tuner pro and you'll see down here it saves it as epic ews delete dot bin and that's perfect right there Alrighty, next up is the flashing portion of the video. We're gonna use the MS4X flasher. Now there has been a lot of information circulating around the internet on uh, if you have to be in boot mode, if you have to use JM Garage flasher to get all of your uh, uh, bin files and to read your ECU and to flash it. And guys, they've made it super easy for us in these few recent years. You only need the MS4X flasher for this MS43 uh, tune that we're about to tune. So you don't need to be in boot mode. Boot mode realistically is only for when you want to either virginize or clone your ECU. So, uh, you know, for just simple tunes like this one, we don't really need to do much. Just be on the MS4 Splasher and then have your tune ready. And that's literally about it. So I'm going to walk you through the steps on what you need to actually tune your car and read the files. So uh, first of all, let's go hop in my car really quick. Alrighty, before we even get into the car, I do want to recommend connecting your battery to a battery maintainer slash trickle charger just to prevent the DME from accidentally breaking itself. But also there is a little bit of a failsafe built into MS4X flasher to where if your battery doesn't have enough voltage, it won't even start the tune. Alrighty, first up, we're in the car. We want to plug in our K plus D can cable to the OBD port, which is just in the footwell on the driver's side. Your K plus D can cable should illuminate red. And just to make sure that the connection is good, we want to plug in our K plus D can cable using the USB side to our laptop. And then we want to go ahead and open up INPA. And then from there, you just want to put your key into your ignition and put it to the second position. That's one position right before you start turning it and it turns on. And both of these dots should fill in black. And as you can see here, everything's looking good. So we're just going to exit out of INPA and go open MS4X flasher. Alrighty, with all your dash lights on and your key in the second position, we're going to go ahead and click identify for the ECU. And then after we're going to go down here and click full read. The reason we're doing this is just to have a backup of our original ECU information just in case anything goes wrong. We can reflash this same file to return our ECU back to normal. And after the process is done, just go down here and press save binary and just remember to keep this file somewhere safe so you don't lose it. All right, so now that we have our backup file, we're going to want to actually load our tune, which is going to be our EWS delete in this instance. So on the left, we're going to want to choose the second option from the top, and then we're going to want to go ahead and click identify ECU again. It's going to take you back to the other page, and then you're just going to click that second option from the top again. And then after, you're just going to click load binary, and then select your epic EWS delete tune right there. And then go ahead and choose full right. This process should take anywhere from five to 10 minutes. And also you will notice your temperature gauge, uh, your little needle will go all the way to the right. That means you are communicating with the ECU. So don't touch anything. Keep it in the second position and just wait for it to finish. After it's done, it should say the writing process was successful. And you are going to notice that your temperature gauge needle is still all the way in the red. All you're going to do is turn your key to the off position and then back to the second position. Or you can just turn it on and you will notice that it will start and the needle will be back in the normal spot. And there we go, you just successfully did an EWS delete. Alrighty, and this EWS delete successfully completed. It was pretty easy, right? Now, since your mobilizer has been deleted, there is a chance that your car can get stolen uh, by someone using the old screwdriver and hammer method. Also, uh, any key cut to your ignition will turn your car on now, so you've been warned. And that's it, I appreciate you guys, and let me know what you guys wanna see next, all right? Peace.